background for the World Development Report 1999-2000, which was on poverty and led by Ravi Kanbor, um, there was a special study to try to understand how poor people saw poverty. Okay. So Deepa Narayan led the study with Robert Chambers and, and a group from Johns Hopkins. And first of all, they reanalyzed desk studies that were participatory. And by participatory, it meant that the research had asked poor people about their lives, what they did during the days, what institutions were active in their communities, and what poverty meant to them and what well-being meant to them. And they, they reanalyzed particularly that part of, of what poverty was mm. and, and brought out the different dimensions that were common across many different countries in that study, uh, 40 countries. And then in 20 countries, they did new work where they would go to a community and basically ask, who is poor? And then assemble the people who were so identified by the community and ask, do you consider yourself to be deprived? Poverty is sometimes a, a, an offensive word, so you mm -hmm. have to find a gentle way to ask that's not degrading, that really mm -hmm. maintains the respect of the person. But if they agreed that they were disadvantaged in an important way, then they brought them together in a focus group mm -hmm. and then really asked them to describe well-being and ill-being. And again, with that study across to many different countries, each country has its own report, but then they synthesize them into a national rep rep or an international set of domains and indicators. And there were some interesting things that came up. Obviously, food is the number one thing. Just eating yeah. <laughs> is, is a triumph. Um, and water and housing. Um, but there were a couple of different surprises. One was the prominence of violence mm. and how often violence was a, a threat, um, a recurrent issue which was confronted which had confronted people and which had deeply affected their lives. And do you mean inside the home and outside as well? Or what, what kind of violence do you feel was most resonant for that particular The study and the surprise focused on the actual um, not the domestic violence, okay. perhaps. But the context in which people live. Yeah. yeah. So okay. mafias, um, criminal violence, gang violence, government violence, okay. state violence. So was this a surprise to the World Bank at the time? Yeah. And the other um, indicator that got quite a bit of interest was humiliation, the feeling that I'm dirty, your children will play with my children, you walk by me in line, mm -hmm. you don't see me as a person, you see me as a wild animal. And being able to capture this, and I think what was distinctive about the study was that it got very specific quotes from people. For mm -hmm. example, a Brazilian woman said, I'm afraid they will kill my son for something as irrelevant as a snack mm -hmm. because of the prevalence of small arms weapons. Um, and, and so that had an emotional impact because many of the talks then carried these voices of the poor. Yeah. Um, there was a, always a danger of anecdote, mm -hmm. you know, or, or, or of, you know, using this wealth of material in a way that was not appropriate. Mm. But I think it, it certainly provided an opening and uh, also a recognition that poor people and communities or impoverished people and communities have a great deal of insight and mm. views on their circumstances and are able to articulate them in a way that perhaps hadn't been captured so effectively.